In September, Bukele agreed to a controversial deal that would allow the U.S. to send asylum seekers from any country to El Salvador. Critics told us it amounts to outsourcing America's asylum system to one of the most violent places in the world. How can you keep asylum seekers safe here if you can't keep the people who live here safe? Yes, actually, this is an, this is an agreement uh, that has a lot of ifs. Because... Uh, what do you mean ifs? Well, uh, these countries have to be a lot safer. A lot safer. A member of the president's inner circle said that asylum seekers could end up staying in El Salvador, that that could happen. Is El Salvador prepared for that? Well, not right now. Uh, we don't have asylum capacities, but we can build them. But you don't have it now. We don't have it now. Well, and if he said, it, I can throw up a tent. A tent? That's not, a, that's not asylum capacity. No. So why did he agree to the deal? Bukele can't achieve his goals unless he stays on the good side of the U.S. It's already paid off. The White House released $51 million of aid it was holding back. And despite all the violence, the State Department lowered the threat level for Americans traveling to El Salvador. It was in the same category as the Congo and Sudan.